Forward in their relationship with God. Transit and transit. So take a minute and sign up for financial peace and refreshments and additional directional cards if you. Welcome to the Church at Chapel Hill. My name is Lindsay Burrell and you're watching CCH TV. Over the next few minutes, we'll be taking a look at what's happening here at the church and how you can get involved. If this is your first time to the church, we want to let you know that our mission is to worship the Lord, reach all people, and equip to serve. Following the service, we invite you to stop by the hospitality suite located in the rear of the auditorium. We'd love to meet you and we even have a free gift for you. This weekend will be a standalone message entitled The Test. This is sure to be a powerful message, but if you happen to miss a message, you can be a part of the weekend service at churchatchapelhill.com forward slash messages. Tell your friends, family, and coworkers about our new internet campus. They can join us for a weekend worship experience Saturday at 6 p.m. or Sunday at 1045 a.m. Visit us online at churchatchapelhill.com. If you have recently begun attending the Church at Chapel Hill, please join Pastor Dave and Cindy and the CCH team for a complimentary dinner for newcomers next Sunday. October 11th at 6 p.m. in the Worship Auditorium. You will enjoy this evening of food and fellowship as we get to know each other better. Make your reservation at the Welcome Center. Child care is available by reservation. If you have completed Class 101 but have never completed a membership application, please request a form at the Welcome Center. Membership weekend is October 10th and 11th. Are you ready to grow with your God? This is the second step of our discipleship series. This informative class will meet Sunday, October 18th at 6 p.m. and is taught by Pastors Jeremiah and Bianca. The topics featured in this class include prayer and fasting, scripture memorization, Bible study, devotional life, fellowship, and much more. Enroll at the Welcome Center. Child care is available by reservation. Class 401, Discovering Personal Evangelism, will be Sunday, October 18th at 6 p.m. If you have completed classes 101 through 301, you are encouraged to attend. This class covers why Christ followers must reach lost people and the importance of compassion and evangelism. You will be given critical tools to help equip you to talk to people with confidence. Enroll at the Welcome Center. Child care is available by reservation. Join with us this week as we pray for Pastor Reginald Littman and New Mountaintop Baptist Church. Please pray that God would use this ministry to further His kingdom and that lives would be changed by His love. Chapel Hill Christian School is hosting a fabulous fun fall festival event. Come join the fun on Saturday, October 17th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. The festival will feature fun for all ages with bouncers, a bungee run, a Velcro wall, bouncy boxing, and giant slides. There will be a petting zoo of exotic animals and a carousel ride with real llamas, donkeys, and miniature horses. Also featured will be the traditional festival activities and more. All proceeds will go toward the purchase of the new playground and equipment. Kid Connection is on Wednesday nights from 7 to 8.30 p.m. and is for kids from ages 3 years to 4th grade. Class is open at 6.40 p.m. Child care is available for children under the age of 3 for small groups and Wednesday night teaching and worship. If you are looking for a place to serve, have completed Class 101, and love people, then please consider joining guest services at CCH. Guest services includes greeters, personal service representatives, parking team, golf cart team, welcome center, and servant leader central. These ministries need additional servant leaders and offer many options to serve on the weekends as well as on Wednesday evenings. If you are interested in serving in one or more of these vital areas, please stop by the Welcome Center for more information. Join us as we partner with Rescue Atlanta to minister to the homeless. The ministry Broken Pieces will be serving food and praying with men and women Tuesday, October 6th. The van will be leaving CCH at 6 p.m. and will return around 9.45 p.m. No cooking skills required, only a compassionate and caring heart. Sign up at the Welcome Center. Again, we are so glad to have you worshiping with us today and are believing God to do a great work this weekend at the Church of Chapel Hill. Joey and Carla Ellis, our missionaries to India, recently traveled hundreds of miles and visited four cities in India. I want to share with you just one account of their journey. In a quiet village, Joey writes, I stand just 15 feet away from a doorway where a mother sits at a table taking money from a truck driver. The woman's daughter leads the customer to the back of the house while the father lounges on the porch. Incomprehensibly, this has been normal life here for several generations, parents merchandising the innocence of their daughters. I am told these children work seven days a week accommodating 10 to 15 customers per day. 
This nightmare has continued on for generations. While the plight of these women are beyond understanding, it is even harder for me to comprehend how mothers and fathers can take money day after day in exchange for the stolen virtue of their daughters. As dark as this picture appears, I remember scripture declares, where sin did abound, grace did much more abound. The life-changing gospel is the only thing that can prevent more girls from taking their place. I remember the joy in the faces of those girls that have been rescued, and it helps me believe that more girls can experience the same hope. While attending a service in which many who have been rescued, one young girl is asked to pray for us. She takes our hands, and I cannot express the feelings that penetrate my heart. She prays, Oh God, I am only a little girl, and these are great people. I pray that you will bless them. As she finishes her prayer, I look around at the girls seated on the floor. I thank God for the hopeful futures they have because of our faithful church partners. Thanks to the Church at Chapel Hill's faithful giving, the resources are available so we can open a school in this area. This will enable us to let the light of Jesus' love shine through these dark places. Please continue to pray fervently and give generously as your church continues to be a light around the world.